Good afternoon. It's a uh, rainy Friday in Boston. Winter seems to be trying to stick around one more day, uh, but knowing the weather next week, I don't think that's going to happen. So uh, try as you might winter, it's not going to happen. Hey everyone, by the way, my name is Chris Grandy. Uh, a lot of you know me from my newsletter, blog, Walnut Hill Advisors, Plan with Chris, and a lot more of you don't know me. And that's fine. Uh, purpose of my video today is really to accompany and to follow up on an article I just wrote about uh, retiring early and eight ways to access your money um, in order to retire early and, and, and do what, do something more meaningful with your life. And uh, that article kind of focused on tactics, but the point behind the article is something a lot more um, um, about rethinking life. So the purpose today is following up on that article and discussing rethinking retirement. And retirement for a lot of people means 65, 70, and that's the old days, you know, that's the, 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 the World War II generation. The boomers, their idea of rethinking retirement is more travel, maybe something, you know, they've, they've started to do more of the meaningful work, uh, doing more things that are, that are involved, and they're, they're kind of getting to the point where, you know, they've had a lot of responsibilities with kids and parents, and so they're getting to it, uh, you know, in their 50s and 60s. And then we have some of the older generation X, who are, uh, you know, for whatever lifestyle reasons they've had or career as such, they've, they've, they're thinking of this maybe in their late 40s. Or, um, but the idea is, is that, you know, let me give you a little background. First off, I, I've thought this way my entire life. The reason I do what I do was it's always been important to me to be able to do what was most important or meaningful at the moment. And not that I've, you know, broken down any barriers or done anything so much of a breakthrough that I'm in the newspapers but I've always felt you know that to me that was important to be able to do things and that and through my 20s and early 30s when I wasn't married I did a lot of uh, a lot of charitable work a lot of volunteer stuff a lot of group things and it was very rewarding and um, but it was also great to be able to help I felt that okay I'm single I'm not married I can I have the ability to do these type of things so I did you know and, uh, and I always felt that uh, you know, marriage and kids were a vocation in, in and of themselves, and I believe that. And that's and so I, you know I felt that you know being single and you know more would be expected of me in the community. And then I got married, had kids, and I've you know focused on that for the last few years. And now that the kids are a little bit a little bit independent and able to do some things or get involved in activities, I feel like I can pivot more now towards uh, getting back to doing some of these things. But the idea of doing something more meaningful, not focusing on on just work or you know, uh, or, or a job or something has always been with me. Uh, some of you who are watching this, you might have taken a different track. So for the last 20 or 25 years, you were working very hard in corporate and you have, and you've built yourself a, an excellent uh, you know, career. You've saved a lot of money, perhaps were fortunate enough to work with a company with, with stock and other type of benefits. And so that, you know, you have a pretty good package for yourself at a, at a relatively young age. And now you're thinking about rethinking retirement and pivoting to something uh, more meaningful. And it was you in mind because I've had so many people in your position come to me in the, in, uh, in the last few years that have told me, I know I want to do something more important. I, I just I have a very nice corporate job that I'm going to I want to get out of and do something else. And because you, you've, you've come to me with that, I, I wrote the article. But with the article more focused on tactics, just to give you just to show you that there are ways that you could access some of that money you saved at an earlier age. You don't have to wait till you're. 65 or 70 to touch it um, to show you that you can access the money and that there is a possibility of, of putting together a strategy and tactics to be able to uh, quit your corporate job, you retire at 50 and pivot into something much more meaningful, meaningful for you. Of course, you know, as you're thinking about that, and I'm sure if you're in that position, you've thought about all the, the, the values and the goals that were important, but as far as, you know, making it happen financially, you're wondering if you could do that. And that's good to wonder, and it's good to be be thinking about that because you know there are some pitfalls. Obviously, you know, if you're 48 years old and you've been able to amass a few million dollars through stock, etc., and you and you're thinking of leaving your you know your your $300,000 job, and you want to pivot into something more meaningful, you're thinking, well, I'm 48. If I live till 90, I mean, this money has to last me a long time. So, 
just like a football player who, who works for, who plays in the NFL for three or four years, makes a few million, uh, you know, it's, it is not uncommon for them to be uh, very hard up financially in their 30s and 40s because they've, that's not a lot of money, you know, when, when you have to spread it out over many years and you're taking care of other people. So you're thinking of that and it's good to be worried about that. You know, the good thing is, is I understand that as, as I've been focusing on living that type of lifestyle from day one. So, uh, you know, if that's something that you want to talk about, I think you and I could have a very good conversation because I understand, you know, you know, the point of, of, of putting something else, you know, putting what's important to you, you know, ahead of career or being having that flexibility to be able to do that. Um, and, and if that is something you want to talk about, if you're thinking about doing that, if you're like some of the other people I've talked to in the past few years where you want to change what you're doing, you want to rethink retirement, you want to pivot into something more meaningful, but you just need uh, the right strategy, tactics, and, and financial coach to help you get there, hit me up. I can certainly uh, answer questions, talk to you about that, and see if we can come up with something that works for you. In the meantime, enjoy my article. I have it linked below this video uh, uh, where I come up with eight different tactics plus a bonus tactic where you could, uh, you know, you can retire early, rethink retirement, and pivot to something a little bit more, uh, more interesting or more meaningful for you. And of course, hit me up with any questions. Again, Chris Grandy and uh, various ways to reach me and contact me, you can see below the video. Have a great day and thanks for watching.